Good morning guys, welcome to today. I'm home today, I did all the chores by myself. Okay, we did uh, chores with Gabby and Sophie this morning, didn't video it, but Sophie finally got something in the mail and she wants to show you what it is. We ordered a bunch of junk toys or fidgets from the, mm -hmm. from the, uh, Sheen. Sheen. And it came early. It came early. It came a week early. So what is it? This is a simple dimple. Don't mind the mess on the table. It's all Sophie's mess. A simple dimple. Let's see it. I'm gonna this. That's kind of boring. That's kind of boring. Yeah, yeah. Keychain. Oh, it's a keychain. Good for my tractor. Good tractor keychain. Our heart. Ah, uh, heart poppet. Heart poppet, which you already have. The best side. Did you already have a heart poppet? I've had it. And a poppet bracelet. A poppet bracelet. That's kind of... I got this pack just for the simple ones. <laughs> you got this pack just because of this thing? Yeah. Just because of this thing here? So this was a package of three and she bought it just for this keychain. A dimple digit. A what? Dimple digit. A dimple digit? Who makes up these names? I like to job making up names. The so dimple... Good. Dimple digit? It's a round thing that you can this just press tobacco. things. Oh Keep you busy all day. What is it? It's squishy. Squishy. It looks like a panda bear. Is it a panda bear? Yeah. It's actually a really nice squishy. It's good for the dogs to play with. Oh my god, that's so... <laughs> so a panda bear squishy. Oh yeah. It's, oh, squish that thing. Squish it. Squish it. It's still happy even if you squish it. See? And a llama poppet. A llama poppet. Looks like a llama. Another dimple fidget. But it's a spinner. So what does it do? It's a. Wait, I can't. It's a fidget spinner. So it's a fidget spinner and a dimple at the same time. Cool. Not. That's its bad side. Yeah. First hard shell poppet. Hard shell coconut. No, that's not pineapple. That's a pineapple poppet. And the last thing is my mini poppet. Yeah, it is. And there it is. And why do you like these things? I don't understand. Fun. But you don't play with them. Can I use that as a keychain for my tractor? Sure. Okay, have it. Sophie's uh, fidget haul for today. Good right, morning guys, welcome to today's video. It is, I don't even know what day it is. I've not enjoyed this summer. Can you, can you believe that? I don't even know what day it is. It is Thursday. Goodness, all right, so Sophie's gonna get the chickens new water. So we also brought them some treats. We got them watermelon, and they be loving it. Look at my chickens, like, oh, I'm so excited. My uh, those I take care of them. Yeah, you do. But look at that. Look at them. Like, you see what I mean about those chickens? Like, she's going to be huge. She's going to be walking around like the size of Molly soon. Or Ruby. No, not Ruby. They're really fun to see. They're not letting her. That's a good idea that you put them so far apart, Sophie. It's a good job. But look at how cute she is. I like the white one the best. Sophie likes the gray one. Sam and I just went to Walmart to get some stuff that I needed. And I was telling you guys that... This has been the worst summer. Have you felt like this has been the worst summer, Sam? Usually we're really busy and we do so many things. And this year it just feels like, it just feels like we, I don't, I feel so dis, I don't know what you call it. I feel disconnected. Like I, I because we've just opened recently, like I don't, we haven't gone out to eat. We haven't gone anywhere. We don't know what's open, what's not open, what we're allowed to do, what we're not allowed to do. Like it's just been, hard coming back into an open society like i don't like we haven't done anything except for horse shows horse shows horse shows and beaches but yeah speaking of horse shows you guys bad news sophie's horse show got canceled for the weekend um i don't know if it's because there were not enough entry entries i think that's probably what it was um 
it's the middle of summer, people are out doing stuff and, and not as apt to go to a horse show. We do have one next weekend though and the weekend after that. Uh, some of you guys were worried about Sophie doing an eventing show. This is a mini event, so which is the perfect thing to get her used to it. So it, it's a mini eventing show and what happens is that um, Fiona can be in the field with her and it's just a field. It's not like a real eventing where they're like flying around being covering uh, covering large areas. It's just a big open field and there's like some jumps and Fiona can be right out there in the middle with her and can be talking to her the whole time like it's a mini event. It should have been more specific. It, it's, it's designed to prepare people for a bigger eventing show. It's like a practice kind of a show and, and so that's what it was and it got canceled. There is another one in the fall, so we'll try and we'll go to that if we can. Um, but yeah, it's just been like one of those summers that everybody that we know is working, like Gabby's friends all have jobs now. I don't know, it just seems, maybe I'm just feeling down about it this today, but it just seems like the summer is flying by. Does it feel like it's flying by? We haven't done anything or gone anywhere. Comment below if you've noticed that this this summer seems to be off for you too. If having the whole COVID experience has kind of ruined summer for you guys, or if you're out there doing everything that you can and enjoying it, the you know enjoying it to, and if you're enjoying it to the fullest, because we need to enjoy it a little bit more and plan some day trips. You want to do some day trips? Yeah. Let's go to a restricted area on the weekend. Thumbs up this video <laughs> if you guys think that we should do some day trips. What's what's a restricted area? Toronto. <laughs> uh, is it actually restricted? No. Whether it was restricted. Yeah, let's do something. Alright, so this is it you guys. It's a giant mess that's needing a drink. I'm gonna water it right now and try and give it a little bit of water before the next rainfall. I just want to give you guys an update because some of you guys want to follow my garden adventure. Here is one of my honeydew melons. I have a bunch. There's another. And so these are going to be really yummy. I can't wait for those to get big. There's a lot of them in here. If you can see, there's another big one. Lots of big ones. There's a little bucket over there. There's a bucket. Yep, that's good. So I have a lot of tomatoes still happening here. If you see in this jungle. This one's turning red. I like to pick them a little early. It helps to keep the bugs from getting them and no, when they're turning orange. But it helps keep the bugs off them and it helps because they take a while to ripen. But at this point, I'm gonna have to make some kind of, at this point, I'm gonna have to make some kind of salsa or something and I might do that. But if you can see, there are a ton of green tomatoes. In fact, all of this are tomatoes. Like this, the whole jungle is tomatoes. My favorite of all the tomatoes are these ones. They're yellow tomatoes. This is pretty much almost ripe. And they are so sweet. And this is why my garden is such a mess. You can't see that underneath here are a bunch, uh oh, dropped one, are a bunch of ripe yellow ones. See them? And oh my goodness, remember when I thought these were watermelons? They're not. They're actually pumpkins and they're starting to turn orange. And then I have another one right beside it. Oh, look, ow. And then I have another one right beside it. See it in there, tucked in? This is my oh, look okay, it, I got prickled from them. See them, all those little prickles inside me? And then some of my bigger pumpkins. Oops, where is it? There it is, see? So this is an ornamental pumpkin, like it's not ever going to get big. Yeah, and there's one there too. Like they can stay in the vine. And then I have like a ton of, of cucumbers, a ton of little cucumbers. This one's pretty much ready. Lots of white pumpkins, the ornamental ones. And I really think I'm going to just rip out all my beans and peas because they're almost ready to be finished and then not worry about them anymore, especially my peas. They're all really looking for a drink, but I'm gonna rip them out, I think. I think it's time, time to be finished with these. All right, are you ready, hunter girl? We got pony number one, we got pony number two, and we got pony number three, who's getting a muzzle for tomorrow because she got too fat. You've been eating too much grass, yeah. What's my pony's name? Okay, so anyways. Summer. You should feel it. It's so thick. Yeah, it's so thick. Summer's almost over here. Where is uh where's her? Where's our pony? 
Where's our pony muzzle? Where's our pony muzzle, Gabby? Do you know? I have no clue. Uh uh. We're in trouble. Well, next summer, can we just roach her mane? Because it's going to be way too thick. Maybe we can. Gabby wants to roach Gracie's mane. Gabby says Gracie's mane sucks. No! Gracie's mane is the most beautiful mane I've ever seen in my life. That will not happen. Don't you worry. I literally bought two muzzles, and I don't know where any of them are. She has to get muzzled. Yeah, yeah, it's really <laughs> thick. Remember recently Sophie cut it? But yeah, it's actually not that bad. But you can thin it out if you want to. It's really thick. Mm -hmm. I actually like it. It's cute. It's but I love yours better. I cannot leave this barn until I find the muzzle. I have to find it because, well, actually, where we're going to be right, putting the horse. Get looking for it. All right, then get looking for it. That's how you find it, Gabby says. Imagine, I wonder who taught her that. Oh, Sophie found it. <laughs> All right, so tomorrow, this is what Willow's getting on. She's going in the field with it. It's going to be her first day. Sorry about your luck, Willow, but we knew it was going to have to happen. Yeah, you can. So uh, I told you guys before that our vet has me, has had me hand walking Penny a lot. Uh, he wants me to start like, taking her for a little bit longer walks and, and do some strengthening exercises with her now because she's going to be ready soon. Like I told you guys, she had like such a minor suspensory thing. Like he thinks we caught it before it became like an actual injury. Just a, She just had a tiny bit of pain in her suspensory ligament. And so we've been just being really, really cautious. And so he wants me to do some strengthening exercises, which is like going over poles. So we're starting that, and I'm gonna we're gonna take you guys along with us. We're gonna go for a little walk with the ponies because it's a pony day. Is it a pony day, Penny? Oh, she's like, I'm not a pony. She loves her ponies, though. I got knee pads. All right, I'm pretty sure you do not need that. I do. To groom, to groom and walk. No, when I walk around, like I hit my legs off of everything. <laughs> And I know your vision is good because I just took you to the eye doctor, so that's weird. My left eye's a little bad, though. Would this fit in He the did not here? say it's a little bad. Yeah, he did. He said it's worse than the right. He said, he said that they're perfect 2020 vision, but the one of them is like just but slightly. But the left is worse than the right. Yeah, I was there. He was talking to me. Yep. When he said that, I know what he said because I was listening. But he didn't mean it was worse. It's still 2020. I know. It's still Can good. I it's put this in here and see how she Sure. Works. Penny, what do you think about <laughs> earplugs? We should bring those for Finn. People tell no. us all the time to try them on Finn. Finn doesn't need them. I know, but he might. He might stop no, the head shaking. He shake his now. head even more. I'm ready to fall on my knees. Yeah, I'm I jumped on my knees with these on and it doesn't hurt. Like full force on your kneecaps. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> okay. I've done it in the house though. I'm not sure about concrete. I'm ready now. So, could you guys imagine though, Finn with How about my with earplugs? They go flying for sure, but they're pink, so we'd find them. Pink. None of them oh, like it. Come here, fit. <laughs> Does it fit? <gasps> I do not think that fits. I think it fits perfectly. <laughs> That's so funny. Try <laughs> here. She lets me. There we go. Uh oh. 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 <laughs> she just pinched her ear together and and. Like no, she likes me to touch her ears all the time. The only one of our horses that like earplugs. These are horse earplugs. They're called palms, I think. And Gracie's the only one who likes it because Gracie likes anything. If you want to see some crazy and also lazy, then you should meet me and my friends. Even though we got no money, for sure it's so funny. Yeah, everything's better with them. We're just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. We don't worry about tomorrow. We just Try to shut us 
down But you know they can blame us for acting shameless Now we just like to have some fun We're just like ooh, ooh, ooh We don't worry about tomorrow We just ooh, ooh, ooh What we wanna do tonight Before we all grow old So don't tell me How do I feel how I should So the other day Sam sent me a TikTok and it was some people who tried having an intruder break into their house and see if their dogs protected them. You guys have probably seen it or some of you guys have probably seen it. So we're going to end this vlog with a TikTok that we're going to make. And we're gonna see if our dogs would actually protect us. Like I kind of feel nervous doing it because I don't want to scare the dogs, but I think it's worth seeing. So do you think if an intruder broke in, would your dog protect you or run away? I'm getting a cold sore. Would your dog protect you or My run away? My dog would jump on top of me. And, and be scared with you? No, she'd just lay on top of me. Like I'm here. What would your dog do? Be scared or uh, and run away or protect you? She would love the intruder. She would love the intruder. What do you think your dog will do? My dog will bark and bite. Yeah. You she think so? She will bark and run away and yes. then come back and bark and run away. Yeah. So, so I feel like we'll not know what's happening. Yeah. So time. there's that. There's the whole Daisy situation where who knows what she's going to know what's happening. But when the dogs go crazy and bark, she does get scared. So my predictions are that Ruby will bark and run nick off we're having an intruder come my son is coming we're gonna have him be the intruder they don't know him that well and no, he's Molly loves nick. yeah so ruby we're gonna nick. we're gonna have so i think ruby will run nick off i think daisy will lay on top of sophie to protect her and i think molly will pee your pants i think molly will pee <laughs> That's what I think. So we're gonna do it. Where he's just about gonna be here, and then I'm gonna. So the next clip is gonna be Nick coming in, pretending to be a, an intruder, and and we'll hurting see the girls. My actors. <laughs> yeah. So Gabby's like Gabby processes everything internally. So she's like cool, cool cucumber on the outside, and so she has to fake being scared. So hopefully she'll be able to do that. You think you'll be able to scream? Yeah. Do you think? You want to know what I think? What? I'm getting a cold sore. Yes, we know. We know you have the cold sore, Sophie. So I want you guys to comment below and tell me what you think each dog is going to do. What do you think Molly's going to do? What do you think Ruby's going to do? What do you think Daisy's going to do? Like, what do you think they're actually going to do? I'm excited to see. <laughs> Look at that Daisy trying to get you away! Look at me! Okay, so none of our dogs ran away. They all tried to save them. All of our dogs are brave as heck. Good girl, no, no Ruby all tried. The they all tried to push you out. That's what they do. They go. Yeah, it's okay, Ruby. The <laughs> Daisy went out the door. Ruby. <laughs> Look, she's she's protecting you guys. Girl. <laughs> so so much for our deaf dog. She she did amazing. 
So I think all of our dogs were brave. Like I've seen the other TikToks and their dogs have like run away, but our dogs stood and it felt like they were trying to like separate Nick from the girl. So I don't know, I think our dogs are brave. What did you guys think? Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the